Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great October 1st. So yes, we changed up the background. Let me know what you guys think. It is a Stranger Things background. Thank you to Bath & Body Works and Netflix for collaborating this year. So we got up the, the pocket back holders. We got up the candle holders. I have the upside down burning right now. I also have the Demogorgon Wallflower plugging over here with the upside down. It's smelling really good. We got the first round of candles the second round of candles uh, we got these pillowcases off of timu it says friends don't lie and then this has the alphabet and then i thought it was really cool this little tapered background we had in the stranger things haul i decided to throw it up you can't see the whole thing but i still think it looks really really cool and then i have like a little extra red light over here just accenting it a little bit more so i hope you enjoy the new background for october so speaking of october happy spooky season everybody i even got my hellfire club t-shirt on so we're gonna have a fun video today going over what i will be using this month in october for halloween and a spooky season so let's just go ahead and jump right in thank you so much for being here i hope you're having a great day if you're new here hello welcome to the channel thank you so much consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a member of the gang so let's go ahead and jump into this video i've been so excited to do this video i just could not wait for october and halloween season to be here so let's start off with the kind of like home care so we got candles soaps what i'll be putting in my car so let's start off with the car i want to put the little dancing skeleton in my car for halloween this year it's just really really super cool i love that he dances so yeah cannot wait to uh have this in my car this month so yes 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 and then we're also going to be using I think this is from this year. Yes, so I got the Vampire Blood Car Fragrance Refill for uh, from this year's collection. So I can't wait to uh, go ahead and try this out. So let's go ahead and load it up right now. I'll do like a little car demo here. In case you've never seen these, Bath & Body Works, they have the car fragrance holders and they also have the refills. So you're going to take the little bottom piece here, a little clip. You're going to open it up. So it's going to open up just like that. You're going to take your refill. You're going to take off this little tab here with the words on it. And then you go ahead and take this tab here, push it down, and then it should lift right off. Sometimes every now and again, I'll have some trouble with these, but it should just lift right off of there. So you just peel it right off. You're left with the fragrance disc. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, the berries that is in here smells so good this year. So it's berries, it's uh, jasmine, and it has plum. Oh, super fruity. So what you do is you take it with the um, flat side facing up. You'll take it, you'll put it in the little pod here, and you'll close it up. Did I do that backwards? I think I did it backwards. Let me look really quick. I did do it backwards because I wasn't looking. Okay, so... The little indent here, you'll put the pod inside with the flat side facing up, and then you'll close it up, and then you have a car fragrance for the next month. Oh, it's so good. So these last usually three months for me. Uh, I'll leave them in my car for three months. Even after that, sometimes they're still pretty fragrant. I don't really use my air and my heat too much though, uh, but it does help if you have your uh, heat on. So yeah, these are really cool. So there is for my car. All right, and then let's go over the hand soaps and the room sprays I'll be using this month. So first up, we have this Sugared Spell from last year. I love this purple faceted bottle. I fell in love with this soap the year prior. It has scent notes of spooky sugared lemons, candy, gumdrops, and sweet musk. Oh, it's so good. It's like sour candy almost. Uh, I really just pick up on that like sugar, lemon, and the candy gumdrops. The sweet musk really is like in the way background. Oh, it's so good. That lemon really comes through and it's like a lemon candy scent. Yes, amazing. So we have... We're about down to here, so we're definitely going to empty that. And then this is not like a project use it up. This is just stuff that I love that I really am going to enjoy using this month. 
So next up, we have Spellbinding Sweets. Who remembers this one from last year? It has set notes of Haunted Lollipop, Sweet Bubblegum, and Bewitched Berries. Yes, I love my candy scents during spooky season. Oh, it's so good. It just smells like Hubba Bubba or Bazooka Bubblegum. Absolutely amazing. I got like six or seven of these. So yeah, we're definitely going to use one this year. And then also I have Wicked Vanilla Woods from this year's collection. Love the packaging. So this has set notes of Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. Oh, it's so good this year. Like that vanilla. I'm so glad that they amped up the vanilla because they always called it Wicked Vanilla Woods. And I was like, where is the vanilla? They finally added the vanilla this year. So those are the three hand soaps I will be using up this month. So excited. And then the room sprays that we have here. So I pulled out Moonlit Graveyard. I have two of these from last year. This one's a really good... I'm pretty sure this was like that smoky incense kind of um, scent. Yeah, definitely. I think I have the candle. Yeah, I have the candle right here. So this was the candle. Absolutely beautiful candle. We had that ghosty lid. So it has scent notes of tombstone moss, cold foggy air, and eerie incense. It's really smoky. It has that incense vibe. It's spooky. I absolutely love it. So we'll be using that. And then I also pulled out Enchanted Candy Potion. Why have they not brought this back? I don't know. It was such a good scent. I feel like it sold out so fast that year it came out. Was this 2022? Yeah, 2022. Oh, it's like a berry, like sugary candy scent. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't bring it back. It was such a good body care. I was going to hold on to this and I was like, let's just use it up. Let's enjoy using my collection. All right, next up we have candles. So I pulled out three single wick candles for this Halloween season. So the first two are Wicked Vanilla Woods. Yes, I'm loving it this year. I used to be like the biggest hater on this scent and they have just really amped up that vanilla and made it so good. Oh, I love this blue wax as well. So yes, absolutely love it. So it has the same scent notes as the hand soap, the vanilla, the amberwood, the pink pepper. Mm, that pink pepper is in the background this year though, and I'm so excited. So two of those. And then we're also going to be burning the upside down from the Stranger Things collection. Yes, this one has scent notes of mossy stone, smoky birch tree, and eerie fog. Man, that birch tree is like so prominent. It is so good. Yeah, I feel like Halloween season leading into like that fall holiday Christmas season. Such a good scent for that. Mm, I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, so excited. And I think I have one that I've already started burning. Yeah, this one. So we are going to swap those out. I'll be burning that one. We'll put that one back up there. Oh, I love it. And I love how the jars, like, you can kind of see the wax down here. So it's like a black jar, but then the bottom is kind of, like, clear. So when you burn the candle, you're actually going to be able to, like, see the flame. And I just, I can't wait for that moment. And speaking of that type of packaging, my three wick candles I'll be using this month. The first one is Wicked Vanilla Woods with that snake lid. Now these, I believe, are the same style. So it has like this gold up top, but then it's gonna be clear on the bottom. So I can't wait to like get to the bottom of these candles to kind of see what that looks like. So I burned this one about almost halfway. Mm, absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I got my backup this year. I should have got more, but I'm trying to stop on purchasing so many backups. All right, next up, we're going to be burning the rest of the Spooky Moon Teeny. Love the packaging. I'm already about probably more than halfway done. And this one really isn't anything special. It really is just like, a, I think it's like a citrusy kind of sugary scent. Yeah, it has Mystical Berry Potion, Spooktacular Sponge Sugar, and Spellbinding Citrus. I don't know, there's something about it. I think it's... 
I don't know what it is because the uh, Enchanted Candy Potion is so good. But this one is just okay. I don't know. It's just kind of like basic to me. So I wasn't a huge fan of this candle this year. But I'll end up doing a review this month and uh, see how it performed. All right, next up, yes, I'm going to end up uh, burning and emptying out the Everlasting Magic Candle with the Globe Lid. I absolutely love this lid so much. If these go 75% off at semi-annual sale, if they make it around that time, I'm definitely picking up like at least one or two more. But it matches like the hot or the uh, yeah the Halloween luminary this year with that little chateau, just so so cool. And Enchanted, uh, not Enchanted Candy Potion, Everlasting Magic is not one of my favorite scents. I didn't like it last year. It's okay this year. It's a little bit better this year. Not as musky. It has more of the berries, in my opinion. Uh, this candle, uh, it's performing okay around five, like probably about a six in a throw. Not like so light to where like it's terrible and I can't smell it. So at least I could smell this candle when it was burning. So that was a plus, especially for how expensive it is. This one is $70 for one candle. But I did uh, use like a little coupon and stuff during early access day. So I didn't pay full price. So that was awesome. All right, the next two candles we have here, we have Into the Night. Now, Greg from All the Boot Candles, he said that this burns beautifully, so I cannot wait. It smells really good. It has the core wicks on it, the white wax. So it has scent notes of raspberry noir, velvet, rose petals, and mocha musk. I'm getting a lot of the velvety rose petals more. And then that raspberry noir... I wonder if this has patchouli in it too, because I believe the body care has patchouli. Kind of smells like it. Yeah, I can't wait to burn it though. I heard it performs beautifully. So yeah, this candle is going to look amazing, especially with like the cutouts. Hopefully you can see the flame like through the stars. So that'd be cool. All right, last candle that I plan on using for uh, spooky season this year, and that is Midnight Cocktails with the wraparound label here. I wanted to pull this out. I don't know, it's just like screaming spooky season this year. So it's um, it has like a little saying here. It says, enter a hidden world with innovative libations in every patron's hand as the soft scent of tobacco lingers in the air. It just smells really good. It's really strong on cold. And I know they brought this one out again this year. So if it's really good, maybe I'll pick up another one from this year's collection. Yeah, it has like the tobacco, smoky, maybe a little leather. Yeah, I'm excited to burn this one though. Yes, yes, yes. So Midnight Cocktails. Okay, so those are kind of like the car and the home fragrance I'll be using. So let's go ahead and jump into the next box. This is going to be body care and accessories. I cannot wait to go through this box and share with you what I'll be using this month for body care. All right, let's start off with this set here. So the first set I will be using this month, Wicked Vanilla Woods. Yes, they made it so good this year. So we have the shower gel or the body wash, the body cream, and then I have two fine fragrance mists. Yes, I'm definitely going to need two of these because this scent is so good. I'm mm, just loving that vanilla this year. I love vanilla. Uh, vanilla reacts to my body chemistry very nicely. So I'm very happy about that. Yeah, mm, so good. I cannot wait to use that this month. So, so good. All right, next up, let's pull this one out. This is uh, a new scent for Halloween this year at Bath & Body Works, and that is Immortal. Yes, look at the packaging. It screams Halloween spooky season with that blood dripping down. I love the white diamond look. So good. So this has scent notes of black plum, sated, sated, suede saffron, and haunted woods. This really is like a masculine vampire blood to me. And it smells really, really good. I don't know what it is. It's definitely the plum. I love plum as a scent note. Maybe it's that suede saffron. 
Oh, it's so good. I don't know if I've ever had a body care with saffron as a scent note. So, so excited to use that this month. All right, next up, let's do this one. This is one of my favorite scents as well for kind of like the winter season. And I also like wearing it during spooky season. And that is Dark Kiss. Yes, I love the purple. So we got the body wash, body cream, and fine fragrance mist. So this has scent notes of black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, and dark vanilla bean with plum musk. So yes, yes, it has that plum. Ah, oh, really good. You know what? Sneeko the Diva, she always says to not spray the cap or like the tester right away, like up close. She said to let it kind of air out. So let's try that out because you get a lot of that alcohol when you like spray it up close oh she's right oh that is so good definitely has the raspberry it has a floral like nest to it but it's not like super floral to me Mm, and then that plum and that vanilla bean, it just makes it like so amazing. So yes, Dark Kiss, we'll be using that this month. Okay, next up, this was like probably my favorite Halloween scent from, was this last year? Uh, yes, so 2023, this is like one of my favorite scents from last year. And that is Midnight Spell. A lot of people was not a fan of this one, and I absolutely loved it. So it has set notes of Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, and Crystal Amber. I don't know. It just smells masculine, but it has, like, a uniqueness to it. It's not, like, a typical, like, cologne masculine scent. Oh, it's so good. It's woodsy. It's, like, warm. It has just, like... I don't know. There's something about it that's very cologne -y, but so unique. So we have the body wash, the body cream, the fine fragrance mist, and then I pulled out one diamond shimmer mist for this month. Absolutely love this scent, and I cannot wait to use it again. Oh, so good. I think this will mix really, really well, actually, with Wicked Vanilla Woods. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to mix this with Wicked Vanilla Woods this season. I think that would be so good. Okay, next up, next body care set. This is pretty much the last one, but I wanted to go ahead and pull out Twilight Woods. Just the packaging alone, and I feel like this is a really good, like, fall Halloween scent. So we have scent notes of Lush Berry, Sparkling Mandarin, Soft Mimosa, Apricot Nectar, and Cypress Wood. A lot of scent notes. Oh, it's so good, though. Anything with, like, a berry note or a plum note, like, really anything fruity, I absolutely, like, love. Yeah, the shower gel here definitely smells more on, like, the fruitier side with the, like, mimosa, the berry, the mandarin, the apricot nectar. Yeah, I didn't realize, like, how fruity this was, this scent is. So, yeah, I cannot wait to try this again. I did wear it um, during the uh, Beetlejuice movie when we went out to see Beetlejuice. This is my scent that I wore. Very nice. It almost has like a perfumey quality to it. Very strong too. So yeah, can't wait to use that this month. Okay, and then let's see. We have some bath products. So I wanted to pull out this Spooky Berry Set of Three Bath Fizzies from last year. A little trick or tree set here. And I think it has like little orange bath bombs in there. It's like a set of like three little mini ones. So I wanted to do that. And then we're also going to have ourselves a little vampire blood moment. You can't go through Halloween and not have a vampire blood moment. So we have the vampire blood bath fizzy from last year with the red rocks. Super cool. We have the vampire blood and the mini body cream from this year. And I have the vampire blood and the uh, antibacterial hand spray. I think this is from a couple years ago. Yep, 2022. And this expires 
it looks like it says August of this year or May. So yeah, definitely going to get this out of the collection this year. And then we have, oh, I pulled out one more Diamond Shimmer Mist. It is actually starting to separate here a little bit. Let's see if we can shake it up. Oh yeah, it shakes up just fine. So we pulled out the Vampire Blood Diamond Shimmer Mist, the mini from 2022. So I guess I pulled out two Diamond Shimmer Mists. And then we have the Vampire Blood Pocket Back Sanitizer. So yes, we had to have our Vampire Blood moment. All right, so what Pocket Back Sanitizers and other sanitizers will I be using this month? Well, the first one is Candy Apple Cauldron. It's kind of like a, to me, I'm sorry, it's like a basic apple scent. I'm not a huge fan of apple though. So you can, yeah, take that for what it is. Just not, I don't know what it is with apple. It just doesn't like react to me. Like, like I love it. Oh, I need it. Like every time I smell apple, I'm just like, I just, it does nothing for me. So yeah, there's that one. And then we have Girlfriend. We have the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. These are all from the 2024 collection. Another Vampire Blood. So this one, we pulled out two from this year. And then I pulled out two of the Upside Down from Stranger Things. Yes, yes, yes. I love this scent. And then I also have from 2023 from last year, we have the Perfect Pumpkin and the sanitizer spray. And this is actually a uh, one ounce. So a lot of people were saying the uh, the new like one fluid ounce sanitizer sprays, they do look a little smaller, but I think they're just like a little bit wider as well. But they didn't really like change um, the pricing or the size. It just looks different. So I think that threw us off. Uh, but they did have these last year for $3.95 for one fluid ounce little mini antibacterial hand spray. Love these. And then for the pocket bag holders, I will be putting this on my laptop for this season on my laptop bag. Yes, got a little uh, jack-o'-lantern mug, a cute little whipped cream, even has a little face. And then I pulled out the ghosty for my uh, keychain for my car keys. I think he is going to get a lot of attention this holiday season for Halloween. And then let's see, we have some lip care products. Oh, I also have the Stranger Things in the Upside Down Wallflower Refill. Have that in my wall. I mentioned that at the beginning. And then for lip care, we have the Scooby-Doo Wet n' Wild Mystery Slime. This is a lip mask and it is so cool looking. It is like green. It looks like slime. I think it is, I want to say it's like apple scented. Uh, like sour apple maybe. Mm, it smells really good though. So we'll be using that every night. And then I have two lip glosses here from Bath and Body Works. So we have candy corn. And then we have sour gummy. Love those. And then we have some from Banger Beauty by Mary, of course. Loving her products so much. She just restocked the Banger Buttas and Banger Buffa. So can't wait to pick those up soon. So I will be using the Trick or Treat. This is candy corn scented. Oh, that one is so like uniquely like flavored. I don't know. There's something about it that's just so unique. Uh, and then we also have Bitten. Bitten is such an amazing cherry vanilla scent. Oh, it's so good. Absolutely amazing. I want to say it smells like a cherry vanilla, like Coca-Cola, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, it just smells so familiar to me, but absolutely love that one. And then we have the Beetlejuice. Yes, Beetlejuice is caramel apple scented. And they're all just so good. They're so moisturizing and I just love them so much. So we'll be using those three. Those are the three from her uh, Halloween collection this year for Mary uh, over at Banger Beauty by Mary. All right, I think that is it. Yeah, the boxes are empty. We've shared everything. The last thing I'll be uh, using is this 
Yes, yeah, so this is a car clean. I wanted to share that with you, gang. So I'll be putting this on my car window. So that is so exciting. Okay, I'm actually going to share with you like where I'm going to be putting all of this, how I'm storing it. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll finish out the video. Okay, so let's fill this little shoe rack up with the body care. And pretty much all I do is I just take it, and I insert it into the little slots, and it fits perfectly. A trio body care set. You could even have a little bit room for something extra. And then, yeah, I can just go in here and grab whatever I want to use. All right, there we go. Got it all filled out here. So like I said here, even up here, how there's four items, it still fits it good. So we got Wicked Vanilla Woods, Midnight Spell, Immortal, Vampire Blood, Dark Kiss, Twilight Woods. We got the sanitizers, the lip care, the bath bombs. We got the hand soaps, the room sprays. And then down here, I even have the single wick candles. I just love this thing so much. Okay, so we did a little switch up. We took them, some things out of here and we put them over here. Yes, I love this idea. So it's kind of like what I'm using, but it's also giving off like, you know, some decor. So yeah, I love it so much. What do you think of it, gang? I just had too many wallflowers and it didn't like, it was just too much to fit on here. So I was like, let me just make like a decor kind of thing. Oh, I love it. All right, and then we'll put the candles we're using in this little bin that I got from Michael's. Love this bin. Okay, okay, so there's the candles. There we go. Alright, I got it on my laptop bag. We went with Candy Apple Cauldron. Alrighty, we got the Ghosty, and I put in... Uh, what did I pick? Upside Down. I put the Upside Down in here. Uh, this is what I was using for, like, literally ever since I bought it. Been loving this one. So cool. And we have the Blueberry French Toast. That one's actually empty. I can go through some pocket back sanitizers, gang. Yes, I can. All right, so that's how I'm, I'm storing everything. I, I really wanted like the wallflower refills on this rack, but I had too many and I was like, I think this is a good idea. So I love that idea. And then the shoe rack on the back of the door. Oh, such a great idea. I've seen that like on Reddit or somewhere else on Instagram. Like what an amazing idea. So yeah, that's everything I'll be using in October. We'll see how much of it I empty. I plan on emptying like at least 75% of it. So that's exciting. So thank you so much for watching, gang. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Happy October 1st. Happy spooky season. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.